Today, we've got a Master Guo G5 fish knife. We had a leather sheath made for it. Uh, we're gonna sharpen it up here. I'm gonna walk you through it. Uh, some of the differences on this knife uh, compared to some other knives that we sharpen. All right, so on the Master Guo G5, from the factory, they sharpen them on a rough stone. You can see here this grind line here. And it's very well done. It's very even, very consistent. And then they put a, another bevel on there at the edge. Uh, this is also a very low angle. So if we were actually to do this on the belt, we'd have to be almost yeah, a little too low for my comfort. But uh, if we're going to sharpen this for customers, then you know we got to clean up that bevel. So uh, my normal low is going to have to be a little lower today. Uh, so about you know almost almost flat. So that's one thing to consider here. Uh, again, both sides look really good. I'm going to sharpen this up to 5K today, and I just want to clean up that bevel. So the, our main challenge is not the sharpening per se, as it is the the consistency and cleanup of the bevel. So, okay, let's get to it. So again, my angle, uh, we're not going to come across straight. We're going to come at about a 45 degree angle here. I'm going to start off at my edge angle and then roll it back down. bevel angle is really there quickly. I don't know if you can see there's a little bead here. That's what shows. So again, it was already sharp. The guys do a decent job there. Uh, so it was just a matter of me establishing my angle. So now we have to come in and clean up the back bevel of that. The scratch marks are already smoother as just from this 120 belt. So uh, one thing that can be aware of if you're sharpening with a belt and you have a clad steel knife, the clad steel is stainless, but it's, it's soft and you, it really is kind of uh, grippy. So if you hit the belt on that, just the cladding, it really wants to grab it and go. Um, so that's one indicator as well. You know that you're into the clad steel when you get this mushy kind of feel to it. It's very muddy. Uh, and then the, the core seal, which of course is much harder, that one just reacts as normal. So it's one indicator, again, you feel that getting uh, kind of thick, then you know you're on the uh, cladding of that. So, all right, that's one side, let's do the other. All right, so what I've done here is to get both sides a little more even is again, it's really far back on the cladding, but to make it consistent on both sides, I had to come back on the first side and just make it a little bit wider uh, just for uniformity. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna move ahead to stones at this point because um, again, this is a, the cladding is easy to do on the stones once we get the initial tough scratches out. So. All right, let's head over to the stones. With the cladding, a typical Japanese style, you know, soft clad, hardcore steel, uh, laminate, laminated steel. You can't really polish up the, the cladding too much. 
So we're going to do a more traditional approach of our sharpening. So we're going to use a 600 bubble gum, a Nanobo 600 bubble gum. I've got these soaking. They're still champagneing over here. We're going to do the back bevel, and then we'll come in and make the core shiny up to the 5K that we need to get to. So we're going to do 600 bubble gum, and then the 1K Gokin Pro. Then we'll switch out for the edge steel, the core steel, to make it shiny. Okay, uh, before I start here, my 600 uh, bubble gum is a little bit used. I want to lap it real quick, so I'm going to use my Agenda two-sided glass lapping plate. I'll put a link for the video up in the corner here. So, basically it's etched glass and then it acts as a lapping plate. So we've got some corresponding powder, so dip it. Just get it wet. My stone is soaking. Got some coarse powder. Now because it's a full size stone, I just want to make sure everything's sprinkled. I don't want layers, I just want a nice even layer, a singular layer. Ah, uh, abrasive there. with that. All right, 600 uh, bubble gum. So we're just gonna get the bevel first. I'll start my edge angle. And then round it back down. All right, so what it's doing is, you know, I don't think the camera's gonna pick it up. It's just basically uh, just removing those belt scratches and creating 600, so it's still a little coarse, but it's gonna be a, a really good sort of uh, white noise. So it's just gonna meld it all together, make it look nice. All right, switch it out to the 1K. Again, more of an aesthetic approach. This is a 1K Gokin Pro. So what I've got is uh, a dull gray bevel. And you can see a thin line here. Again, I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up, but there's a line where you can see the laminated steel is uh, coming out versus the cladding steel on top. So uh, we're pretty much just behind it right now on both sides. All right, so I got a 4K Nanawa finisher. Uh, I'm gonna go more, again, all traditional today on this. And we'll just touch the 5K up at the very edge. Uh, there, so this is a 4K, so we're close, uh, and this will put some shine to it again. It's not going to be mirror, but it's going to be bright, so let's get to it. That's well. There you go. If you like that video, please like and subscribe. Check out Master Guo Knives at agendaindustries.com. And please check out our other videos. Thank you for watching.